Good morning again. Uh, so it's my honor to share with, this is really kind of directed at a lot of the new members, um, but I want to share a little bit about, and it's going to be your kind of your last communication on, on stewardship. Uh, I know earlier on that we had speakers that gave their story of why they give in faith and to the Lord and to St. Luke's. And, um, and that took place October, November. Now we're kind of doing a roundup, and I'll explain what, what we do going forward a little bit. So most of you have heard about the three Ps, time, talent, and treasure. Well, we have a lot of talent in this church. There's no doubt about it. Uh, behind me, around me, our music team, uh, our vestry, our finance team, and so many other pieces that make our church what it is every Sunday. And of course we have a, a reverend here too. Almost forgot about her. <laughs> so, but the most important thing that I wanna share with you today is about the treasure piece. Because it still takes, you know, the finance or the gifts from um, all of you that are part of our church to make things happen and to continue. So, Every, uh, once a month, I should say, uh, the finance committee, uh, which consists of Mar Marcy Welch, uh, Steve Achilles, myself, and Reverend Sarah, we, we Zoom, and uh, we try and look at uh, the P&L, the profit and loss, and the <coughs> balance sheet, and to see if the finances of the church are, um, you know, strong, uh, weak, make adjustments, see what our expenses might be, some of those emergency things that pop up, like maintenance items, and so on and so on. Uh, and uh, so that's really important that that's, that's looked at, and I want, want everyone to know that that's ongoing. Uh, we look at the health of, of St. Luke's as a, from a financial standpoint. Um, newer members, this is, like I say, this is a reason this morning to, to share with you why we pledge and uh, uh, and so as I go through so the good news is uh, 2021 uh, our pledges are at about 90 percent and so that's not counting the month of December so it looks like we're right right on the, the course of, of being 100 percent or maybe a little bit more uh, so far through the generous gifts through this parish, we've received about $101,000 in pledges for 2022. Um, and where to leave off here? To, for 2022. So in that amount of pledges, uh, 23 uh, of our parish members actually increase their pledge going into 2022 over 2021. So that's fantastic, and thank you very much for those additional gifts that you continue to support the church with. Um, but there's work yet to be done. And uh, so last year we had a commitment of 50 pledges from our parish. That's pretty fantastic as you look around at how many people that either on Zoom or here in, in person today uh, that pledge. Um, this year we're at 39, so we're a little bit under uh, what we were last year. But there's still some, some uh, families out there that still have, we're gonna give you the opportunity to pledge, okay? Uh, so let's, we're not counting you out. But uh, so, so last year, at this time, we were at $115,000. This year we're at 101, as I mentioned. Our goal is 140. Could be a little bit lofty, but I'll explain a little bit more as we go on. So the reason for the, the lower numbers as we see it, um, we have several families that moved out of state that were good givers, that pledged. And you know, overall we look at what we listen to today, asking for prayers, uh, which is so important in our, in, our, in our family here, our community, uh, that people have all different things taking place in their life. And I'm no different. Probably everyone else ha can share a story and ask for a prayer today. There's no doubt about it. We have a home right here, a, 
a place, part of our community that we can do that at. So overall, with COVID and all the other things that are going on in our lives, it's been challenging. I think everyone would agree to that. So those are really the kind of the major things that we see in change. So why is it important to pledge? Um, making a commitment of pledging allows your finance committee to prepare a budget for 2022. Well, we're almost at the end of 2021, so it's pretty important that if we do get additional pledges that we take a look at that, we'll go back and try and noodle out a process and see where we're at, what we can do, what we can't do going forward. So uh, that's, that's very, very important. And then once that budget is, is put together, then that goes before our vestry and they are the business piece of, of, of the church that will make that final decision on how we're gonna allocate finances for 2022. Um, so with that said, um, one of the goals, major goals, is increasing Sarah's hours here. Now, I, I think that you stop and think about where we've been for the last almost two years. And we've been on Zoom a lot. We've finally got a place where we can come back and meet in person and trying to keep all the safety protocols in place. But with that said, when Her Sarah was hired, she was at 30 hours, three quarters time crease. 40 hours normally makes up everyone's work week as if you're still working in the, in the field, so to speak. She is now at currently at uh, 30, 32.5 hours and we're trying to increase that to 35 hours. That's part of what the reason for the dollars going into the budget. There's other things that are, are calculated in the, that number of $140,000 as well. Um, so the ultimate goal though is to get Reverend Sarah at 40 hours. And I, I don't think there's a person in here that knows Sarah, sees Sarah, how many more hours she actually actively puts in to keep this ministry alive here at St. Luke's. So the goal, that, like I said, is to continue to grow to 40 hours. And so what can we do to go forward? Well, all I can say at this point, since this is kind of the last speech of communication, if you haven't had the opportunity uh, to pledge, now maybe you have a little bit, if you're new, you have a little bit better understanding of why we pledge. And there are packets back in the narthex right back here. If you would like to make a pledge, uh, please do so and uh, be part of our community that not only supports uh, the time and the talent, but also the treasure that is needed to keep things viable here at St. Luke's. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. <laughs>